first off, we're going to start right here. We're going to go really fast. This is our kitchen products. Uh, we're going to use that one. You can see right here we have some predefined um, layouts, and then we got one you can draw your own walls. But we're going to use this one. So you can see right here, if we click this, we can change the wall style, the the length of the wall. We can also you can look at the bottom where you can change the uh, the wall height. But we're not going to do that today. I just wanted to point out those functionalities. On the next screen right here, what you'll be able to do is actually add a wall. So um, put this in here. So if you got a, let's say a um, a pantry that's framed out with a door on it, then this is where you would do that. So, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go. And then you can see right here we have custom styles and predefined styles. This right here will be our manufactured cabinet section. <clears throat> you have a catalog from the different manufacturers and then you just choose the manufacturer's catalog that you want to use. It'll have the, the type of um, door style uh, and pricing included in that. And I'll show you that a little bit later. Right here we got the custom style. We're going to use that. So in the custom style, you can see we got several options. These same options are available in the predefined styles. So we're just going to click, you know, um, the different options here. So we're going to select this style. All right, and you can see over here on the left that we have several different cabinets. Now this will be all the. Um, this will be totally changed. In fact, the styling will be changed to look more like the uh, American style. This, this was developed in Europe, and um, so they, they have a different look to it over there. So all you do to add, right here we got a little two drawer base. We're gonna add that. And then we'll add another. There we go. Just drop it in here. It just looks right in there. Just tall cabinet. going to leave it like that right for now. Up here you can change the wall color or change the floor color, you know, zoom in, zoom out. This will actually have the nomenclature on top of it just like um, any other, like the other softwares that are the softwares that are available on the market. And then we'll have the, um, um, have the distances at the top. But, you know, if this is 30 inches, 36 inches, let's say this is 18, 30, or 30, you know, it'll show all of that on the top. So once we do the uh, 2D rendering, you don't have that up there. Right here, this is our 3D rendering. Now, I didn't take the time to do this, but you can add the windows, the walls, the door cuts, different things to it. Um, we're going to add textures to the wall and to the floor. So, for instance, a floor it would be a wood floor or a tile floor, or a laminate floor, and we'll have a lot of choices that you can choose from. Down here at the bottom, you'll notice you'll see this little button right here. So, we'll be able to turn the design uh, in 3D, and you'll be able to see um, uh, see the design. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to save this. So now it's saved. If you look up here at the top, it shows this little shopping cart. And then it shows each of the items that are in the um, in the design right here and the cost of them. And you can have a predefined cost if you're a custom cabinet shop. If you're using a manufactured cabinet, then we'll have the um, um, the, the list price. So right here we're going to choose the 3D renderings that we want to see and we're going to render it. This takes about a minute or so. I may stop the, stop the recordings. Let's see what happens. Well, I wouldn't do that. So I didn't stop the recording. But you can see each of the cabinets and then you'll see a number on the cabinet and it corresponds with the um, 
the number up here. So one is this base unit right here, two is this base unit right here. And this separated out. These are the base cabinets. These will be the, the uh, wall cabinets. And then you see the renderings, you know, from the different angles. And then right here you can type in information, um, whatever you want to do. You can email this to yourself you, um, or email it to your customer if you want to. So now then as far as the rendering is concerned, all you have to do is click on one and then it'll show it in a, uh, and open up a tab, show it in a different screen. It's pretty awesome. We can put as many angles as we want to. We just, right now we got 0, 90, 180, and 270. You know, we can do 0, 45, <coughs> you know, so on and so forth.